Hello, Konati. Welcome to my channel, Goddess of Light 1111. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning subscribers, welcome back. This reading is for the collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you, God. Thank you, Universe. Universal Energies, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guy, Archangels. Please give the collective a clear, precise, honest message for the highest good ancestors for the collective message that the collective need to know please come with clear precise on this message for the highest good so guys thank you so so much for all your support your like your share your comment don't forget to subscribe i appreciate all of you that have been there with me at the beginning i appreciate you guys so 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 very much so let's see what's that what the universe has for you guys okay Let's see what God wants you guys to know. So, we give you guys the glory. So, if you're not a Christian, I mean, if you are a Christian, uh, click to the left. I'm not sitting here and try to babysit Christianity. I don't do religion. So, if you are in any type of religions, please don't get offended. You know, um, I don't get offended about anything. So, please. You can swipe right or left, but no religion here. Thank you. <sighs> Let's see what's going on. For the, and if you cannot hear me also, sorry about that. The um, microphone is <laughs> somewhere. Okay, so let's see. So my voice might be a little bit small. It's not going to be loud. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guy, what is the message you have for the collective? So we have, okay. So we have, take the note of intuitive messages. We have snake. Oh. Okay, if you guys can see this. Okay. And then we also have snake. <laughs> so you guys could have someone that is a snake around you. I feel like it's time for you guys to shade all scan. Um, so which means that you guys might having a rebirth, no beginning for some of you. You might have like some type of no be uh, rebirth and no beginning. But be mindful of people that are around you. That I might be, you know, kind of sneaky, tricky, and things like that. Because we have make plans and focus. And we have take charge with authority. So I feel like, yeah, you guys need to set healthy boundaries. And I feel like uh, you guys also need to take charge of any type of situation you guys might be going through you know that's what i'm getting here so you guys might be dealing with the thought uh with the taurus so i feel like whomever this taurus is they need he or she need to take action with authority that's what i'm getting here so there's a message here for taurus you need to take action because you have said here be devoted and committed so there is a taurus that need to get that um i feel like um the universe ancestors god is telling you to take action and trust your instinct and trust what you heard and trust 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 i'm hearing trust so whatever that you heard you can trust it that you are being guided here to take charge with authority and and they are asking you here also for whomever like i say could be a toys i'm getting um getting a strong energy toys you need to take charge you need to be committed to whatever this is okay this is a message for taurus because you might have liars you might have sneaky people you might have um like i say i'm getting you know a snake you got there's some you might have tricky people around you that might be wishy-washy that might be liars so be mindful of that i don't know where this energy come from but this is for a taurus 
to be specific but this is a collective message okay guys yeah we have intended and created we have high priest so you might have um maybe there's a high priest that might be giving you some type of message so be mindful this person might be lying to you so if you if you're talking to a high priest they might they might be giving you some type of um they might be create some type of illusion to you toys okay holy spirit spirit guide divine please give me a message for the collective so we have poverty someone could be in a lack we have coffin, we have house, marriage, a contract. There could be a contract that's coming to an end here. Wow. So we have someone is a privileged lady. This person could be, um, they're having some type of lack. The poverty doesn't mean this person is broke or anything. Somebody, this person could, maybe they have some type of lack of finding information. They might be having, because she's, this card flip in a reverse is turn up right. So this person might be some type of lack of finding some type of, yeah. Um, when it's come to, because, you know, we have unexpected income. So someone in here might be um, getting some type of unexpected income. That's what they want to get as uh, whomever this is, this privileged lady here. This might be someone that is in the public eye, some shape or form here. And they expected to get, this person could be, um, let me see. Someone could be 48, but whomever this is, um, I felt like someone might be getting unexpected income. We have the mature man. There's some type of change. These, someone might be stealing from somebody's work. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, let me see if I can show you guys better. If I can show you better than I can show you better than I can tell you. Okay, there you go. So we have work. Someone is working. What do you have the thieves next to it? So there could be someone that is try to steal from somebody but this person whomever the mature man he might be telling this this whomever this tv is not to do that but i don't think this because it's a change next to the team so it might be telling someone not to steal from somebody but they might not pay attention they might not really care about that whatever if someone is stealing from somebody here it could be you know someone could be at work you know whatever they are stealing from you know they are still stealing from their ceo they're stealing from their boss this somebody is stealing okay it might be you know from work somebody is stealing from someone work here however this work supposed to be okay <laughs> okay that's what i'm getting lots of lots of lots of loves to you guys okay lots of loves lots of loves lots of lots of love all right so let's get some more messages for you guys so we have divine masculine let me read what it said. It said, the frequency of divine masculine support our active focus and strong side, facilitating our capacity to transform our dream into form. Yeah, there is a divine masculine here that need to know something. So again, I've already uh, talked to an uh, air sign. I mean, not an air. So you guys could be also, there could be an air sign involved here. But whomever divine masculine here, they could be um, in the public eye also, because we have the Lord here. The, you know the Lord, they are well respected. Back in this century ago, they are well respected by, you know, by the king, by the queen, but they are well respected by everyone. This is someone that is well, so supposed to be well respected, whatever their profession is, okay? 
the frequency or sensitivity. So we have sensitivity. The frequency or sensitivity help us open the wall of subly in details while echoing any structural foundation does supporting us to become more fully multi-dimensional 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 okay subtly in detail so this person might be um whomever this is they might have some type of um intuition but they might not be they might be not be pay attention to that because they don't know the difference this might be someone they are um they can use the intuition but they're not awakened to the point where they can tell if people lying to them that's what i'm getting you remember this is my masculine you are very intuitive okay i'm telling you especially if you are collaborating with to work with somebody we have union here some of it some whomever somebody here they might be collaborating to work with somebody here uh we have the energy of union activated our ability to unite um our outer and inner aspect our this state of wholeness yeah absolutely what i just say so some of you might be um might be working together with people but be mindful because you might be picking on things don't question yourself whatever your gods told you do not question yourself just go with it yeah so look at that this is you know i feel like a lot of you are connected with you know the divine let me see if you can i can show you that there's a lot of light <laughs> this is so but it's kind of hard to see the up there yeah right here you can see it so we have the energy of soul activated our connection to to the part of that to the part of us that is closer to the higher realm god in the divine yeah god's telling you that your soul is activated okay your soul is activated there was information you need to know trust in it but you have someone that is around you that is a snake that's what i'm getting here that's what someone might be with especially if the fact is the moon is next to the snake someone might be creating some type of illusion they might be being very sneaky so be mindful especially if you are an earth sign okay let me see i get tossed but i'm going to, to say if you are an earth sign someone around you is a snake they might be creating some type of illusion the stage the sage telling you here i felt like you have an ancestor around you you guys you have an ancestors around you that is telling you to commit it and devote it to whatever you are doing because as you can see here the um someone is a sage okay and they're asking you to take note whatever information you had been given you heard you need to take note because as you can see here this ancestor this sage here, they are waiting something you they are taking note so you need to listen you need to focus you need to pay attention because there is something that that you have been told it is the right thing so you need to trust it okay especially um like i say if you are an earth sign male or female let me get some um since we are in the we are about to hit the full moon that's the last last full moon of the year so we have gemini so you might be there's remember i say air sign right there is i say air sign but we have communication is key so there's definitely might be maybe there's this information you're gonna heard it might lead you to a gemini maybe some of you are connected to a gemini that's my like i say i'm not saying gemini you know or nothing i have a lot of them in my life <laughs> so before anyone come after me but pay attention you have the answer you need are coming full moon and gemini so there's the information you're gonna you're gonna find out it might happen you might find out the information that you need you need to might be need to speak to a gemini okay that's what i'm getting because it's the answer you need are coming full moon in gemini so i'm not getting you know like 
next year. I'm getting that you might need to talk to a Gemini. They might be telling you the truth. Wow. Yep. I cannot make this up. We have nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Again, so this is a full moon. And then we also have Gibbous moon. So since we have the moon that is coming, since we have the moon that's coming, we have, you are very close to achieving your goals. So Gibbous moon. I feel like they, you're going to get clarity when it's come to whatever you are searching for, whatever you need to know, you will get answer. You have to talk to, um, to a Gemini, but be mindful. Um, try to listen carefully. Ask a lot of questions. This is a beautiful, beautiful, well received, well given message, okay? Because usually I'm like, da, 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 da. all of a sudden I feel like there's a need for me to explain. So someone might be going to explain themselves. So you need to ask questions. But be mindful. Someone might be sneaky, especially they might be trying to you know, be wishy-washy. They might be trying to create illusion. But I feel like you guys are on sh on top shape. Take note why what they say to you. We have showed the world the real you. And we have full moon in Aquarius. Again, we have a lot of air here. There, maybe there's also an Aquarius you might need. You, might, you guys might be dealing with an Aquarius. You guys might be talking with an Aquarius. Whomever this is whomever this you know privileged lady here um they are in some type of lack okay i don't like to use the word of poverty because people make it poverty look like oh my god this person is homeless they make it so much like of what what is not but the you know it's kind of like the five of pentacles five of pentacles got a lot of negative aspect to it so Again, you guys might need to talk to, you guys might be dealing with Gemini, Aquarius. These are those signs that you guys might need to talk to, some shape or form. We have Aquarius, we have Capricorn, and we have Libra here. But this is for you, whomever you are, this is a win-win forecast outcome. So the ancestors is telling somebody here, do not miss this opportunity do not miss this is an opportunity of a lifetime for somebody okay however that opportunity is for you but i'm getting an earth sign here do not miss this opportunity here yeah we have what do you need to release so some of you need to again you need to be in your pew in your pews <laughs> in your your cues and your and your peace and your cues to not to miss this opportunity again it is a win-win forecast out where a win-win forecast you know outcome is forecast so it's a chance of a lifetime is an opportunity of a lifetime wow okay yeah husa husa and husa <laughs> don't mind me okay don't mind me <laughs> I love you guys. Love. I'm trying to change, you know, how I do reading. Yes, we have third eye chakra. I cannot make this up. I'm telling you, whatever that I told you is the truth. Whatever that I just told you, third eye chakra is wide open. My and yours. Whomever this is that I'm spoken with, okay? So third eye chakra, your third eye chakra is going to be open and you're going to find out what I'm telling you. We have use your intuition. And we have destiny. So the overall energy is third eye, well, the overall, let's get some overall energies for you guys. Oh, okay. So we have the universe. So there is, someone might be traveling. So the overall energy is here is traveling, okay. 
I'm getting traveling. The overall energy is to close the cycle out. Someone might be, again, someone might be traveling, you know, when it's come to this. Like I said, this is going to be whomever that need to hear this message. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. And they say, do not missing whomever this is, because we have eight of pentacles here. Next to it. This is hard work. This is, you know, some, you know, someone might be, you know, as you can see, it's come with this. Someone is travel is that's going to get some type of clarity. So you guys might be, somebody might be travel and they're going to get clarity because they have been guided angelically. Like I say, you know, there is God. I feel like there's God right in front of somebody here is guided somebody. So you guys might not be able to see you, but toward the sun, I'm getting God is guided because God can commune anywhere and everywhere. That's the energy that I'm getting here. So you guys, somebody is being guided, you know, divinely guided to move towards somebody, something here to get some type of, uh, to travel for whatever. This is the outcome here. There's some type of travel. Let's get some obstacles. nine of swords the obstacle is someone not to be uh, not to be worried not to be stressed there's there's some type of sense of having a peace you know when it's come to moving forwards when it's come to do something here so because again we can see someone in here that is um might be um might be thinking they might be sitting by themselves thinking a lot but i feel like they spirit is telling somebody here not to overthink it not sitting there worry about it go forward do what's need to be done with the nine of swords here because again the same thing in that card you are being guided all dark energies is being removed anything that is hindering someone is being removed is been out of the way so i feel like you guys have plenty of chance to get to where you need to be here Okay, because you have been divinely guided. You have been divinely leading the way here. Hmm. Let's get a, a card for the outcome then. Because that's the obstacles. Okay, hold on. What is the outcome, Holy Spirit, Spirit God? We have again toward chakra. So, you know, they again to speak the truth here, to let the truth to be some again. I'm just saying there's a lot of truth that need to be toward chakra is upright. So this is speak the truth and you know release or something because this is gonna bring some type of clarity. Nine of Swords next to the wall here. This is going to be bringing you some type of clarity for whatever you need. But I'm getting here that moving forward towards the sun. God is guiding you to close a cycle. will close here. So we have a tower that's going to, whatever this is, that's going to be create some type of tower. So this might not be, this might not be the challenge, but that's what need to be happen. There's going to be a major tower once, you know, whomever to hear that travel, okay? But somebody need to listen like the, like the, your ancestors is telling you, you need to listen here. Someone might be creating some type of mental conflicts, but there's those two cards come out. So I'm taking both, but I'm not clarifying both of them. We have also that for somebody here, you need to stand their ground. You need to, you know, and you're going to have to defend yourself, especially mentally. Mentally here. Somebody might be questioning something. Spirit said don't question it because like I said, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. We have harmony at the bottom. This is the lovers. Yeah. Somebody want a passionate no beginning with you. Uh, creatively. Creatively, okay? And this person might, somebody might be also in love with someone here. Somebody want to sleep with somebody also. I'm just saying. Maybe they want to, you know, So 
somebody somebody looking at somebody with a lot of hatred a lot of envy a lot of jealousy and it has something to do with creativity with you know creative somebody want to be with somebody like let me get close to you because i'm hearing let me break me somebody want to be with somebody closely but it's like i want to devour you but i cannot stand you i want what you got but i cannot stand you that's the energy but whomever this person here they will move their mask is come off because we also have the magician here especially some of you that are manifesting the emperor might not <laughs> we have the emperor here the emperor might be manifesting you guys despise he don't like you he just want to sleep with you <laughs> i'm sorry to say this the emperor we have the magician seven of swords the lovers so this emperor I want to be your lover, babe. I don't know if that's a song, okay? Somebody want to be with them. They want to be your lover. They want to be in some type of creative endeavor with you, but they, they want you. Mm -hmm. But it's not because this person like you. Maybe you are for this person fathers, and they, you know, they want you because of that. Okay? So, let's clarify uh, universe, please. Holy Spirit, Spirit guy. <laughs> yeah. Six of Wands. Six of Wands flew in the reverse. Someone might, like I say, we have Six of Wands uh, that flew in the reverse here. Someone don't want you to get victorious. Six. Someone doesn't want you to be victorious. Six. Vic okay. Someone might be... <laughs> This this reading just went left real quick. Someone want to take somebody to Victoria's Secrets. So if a man or woman, however you take it, but Victoria's Secrets usually caters to us women. If a man want you to take you to Victoria's Secrets, they want to be sleeping with sleeping with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, what I've heard, what I heard is too funny. So I'm sorry, guys. Okay. I see. That's why I don't need to be in camera. Mm -mm. Six of Wands in the reverse. Someone sees some, you know, someone felt like, you know, if a cycle closed, someone felt like if a cycle closed, you know, they're not victor, they don't have victory and success here. If a cycle closed, let's go by Six of Wands in the reverse. Someone could be also very self-centered. So we have Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Let's see. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. One of these people. Okay. Let's go by six of wands, please. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone also might not learning a lesson. That's what I'm getting with the page of pentacles. Someone needs to be practical. Wow. Seven of pentacles in the reverse. Someone learn a lesson. Someone doesn't want to learn. Some people learn lessons. Someone doesn't want. But I feel like someone is trying, is not investing. Someone is not getting. Someone kind of peace. Someone might be very upset with the six of wands here because, you know, the way, because the wall is upright, but the six of wands is in a reverse page of pentacles. Someone is not getting something here and they're not investing also because they're not, they want something they're not getting. Somebody could be very pissed off. It's might be one of those signs that I spoke about. Six of one Leo energies. So this Virgo Capricorn here with the Seven of Pentacles and the, um, yeah, someone is not too happy because all these three cards in a reverse. Okay. But we have everything fine. Ten of Wands, Four of Swords. Yeah. King of Pentacles, they might be putting something to rest. We have King of Pentacles, Four of Swords. 
ten of wands everything is fine but what i'm getting here this person might be feeling like this is too hard for them to deal with so they might be put things to rest but if it's whomever this earth sign is Taurus, Virgo, capricorn the your ancestors telling you this is opportunity of a lifetime let's go find nine of swords please But I'm getting with the Knight of Swords. There's uh, plenty of opportunity. You just have to choose the right opportunity here. There's plenty of opportunity, plenty of chances. What I'm getting with the Seven of Cups, even if someone is creating some type of illusion, like remember as I said that already, someone there's someone that might be create illusion for you to be in your head. Don't pay them no mind because what I'm getting here, there's plenty of chances. You just have to use your own intuition because you have been divinely guided. You have been divinely guided, okay? Let's clarify seven of cups. The sun. Again, if anyone, you know, if anyone is trying so hard to create illusion and stuff like that, for you to kind of be like foggy or something like that. I feel like there's no need for you to worry. You're going to be fine. Trust in yourself. That's what I'm getting. Let's clarify the sun, please. Yeah, four of pentacles. Someone wants, someone is trying for uh, somebody to hold back. Let's clarify intuition. Two swords. So I might be creating some type of cell stalemate and there's something you guys not see. Let's clarify two of swords. Yeah, because something is ended and you guys might not even see that. There's some type of, um, someone is creating a stalemate. You, you guys not see something when it's come to a death. Let's clarify something about death. Let's clarify death card, please. Something is ended. Let's clarify the death card. <laughs> so it's funny. Something in the past, right? It's that's um over. But we have six of pentacles, six of cups in a reverse. So something about a death in the past. Because the two of swords, you guys not might not getting some type of clarity here when it's come to something something in the past that is over. Let's go find the six of cups in a reverse, please. Holy Spirit, Spirit guy. Someone might be under judgment for this. Okay, let's clarify this option. King of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Yeah, somebody might be going to a painful ending here. But they are in an upright. This is something they don't know. The King of Cups might not know they are about. They, if they're not going to it, they are about to go to a painful ending. So let's clarify the King of Cups, please. Yeah, they stress, worry, having anxiety, sleepless night here. They're going to they're going to something major. Wise, let's go find nine of swords because of their hermit. Oh, they are mentally, they might be mentally. So, the king of cups might be, you know, trying to find some information, they might be trying to investigate it, something here. But whatever this is, this is gonna create a major tower moment. There's gonna be a uh, Shocking tower moment because someone is under judgment be about the death in the past. But with the six of cups here, because someone is not someone could have lie. Whatever this is that's ended in the past, somebody is under judgment. Let's go back to what chakra. Whatever death doesn't have to be mean. Yeah, someone is spying. Someone is speaking about this. That's fine. What's speaking? Let's go find someone also could be spying on someone. Throat chakra. <laughs> someone could be spying on someone speaking. Let's go find page of swords. Oh, let's say listen to your interaction. 
So we have the high priestess. Someone wants somebody to keep a secret here. Let's go by the high priestess. We have the high priestess here twice. Yeah, for someone, somebody wants somebody to keep a secret when it's come to this empress. I don't know what the empress did, but they are, they, they are in the opera, but somebody wants somebody to keep a secret when it's come to the empress. Mental conflicts, let's clarify mental conflicts, please, Holy Spirit, Spirit guide. We have the hierophant here. Someone could be having some type of contract. Some type of commitment here. Let's clarify the hierophant, please. Some type of institution might have some type of contract here to create to create mental conflicts. Let's clarify the hierophant. Yeah, nine of wands. Because I felt like that, you know, someone might be feeling like whoever the hierophant he is, they might be, you know, in the wounded warrior energies. Let's clarify the nine of wands, please. Because some type of message, they are could because some type of messages, because messages here, um, page of ones, they might be receive some type of message because of that. But the message is is not like a clear message, really. They might not get the whole shoe. They might not get the whole shoe. That's get them in some type of mental conflicts because someone could have telling them some half. So whoever the high will fit here, I feel like someone is being lead some, you know, someone astray here due to mental conflicts. And that creates some mental conflicts for the hierophant, whoever the hierophant is. What is the third eye chakra? Holy Spirit. Yeah, two of cups. So that was a message that was supposed to be delivered with the third eye chakra, two of cups here. So this is giving and receiving some type of information here. Whether it's to this reading or someone, there's a message here for somebody that is very important. Let's go for destiny. I, they said oh, I don't have to clarify the two of cups. Whomever that listen to this message will know whether this is for them or not. Because I don't know your business. <laughs> Let's clarify destiny, please. Okay. So we have Queen of Pentacles. So is Virgo Capricorn. Someone feel like this is destiny. This this is someone that is in their life purpose here. Let's clarify Queen of Pentacles. is very attractive very confident very attractive inside and out was beautiful lovely but i feel like somebody also here maybe they yeah uh someone in here wants to get um someone wants to be getting some type of wealth hmm. let's clarify positive movement forward please yeah, this is a wish fulfillment. Whatever this is for you guys, it's a wish fulfillment, okay? Even if someone is trying to, you know, throw you, you know, into the um, wave, okay? They try to steer the boat, you know, to the wrong way, the wrong way. You guys will know. This is some type of wish fulfillment. The Eight of Pentacles here to travel, to get, you know, for you guys to know something here. Because that's the energy that I'm getting. The seven of pentacles in the reverse. Page of pentacles in the reverse. Someone might not learning some type of lesson here. Feeling a smog. Feeling, you know, someone that is self-centered here. But the universe is telling somebody here. Your wish fulfillment is to travel. Is for the world. Whatever this is. Let's go for nine of cups. Yeah, king of swords. Tell the truth. Whomever the king of swords here. This is a wish fulfillment. Again, I cannot I cannot stress this out. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Your ancestors say, do not miss this opportunity. 
This is life changing. I don't know what this is, okay? Because the eight of pentacles here, it's, you know, whatever this is, I'm getting like this is a beautiful forward movement, positive, positive movement here that's going to bring you into, because you can see here, Okay, this is not dark. This could be either eagles or um, because you guys are going to be transformed. You guys, the light bulb is gonna click. You know, it's gonna be like ding, ding, ding. You're gonna, you're gonna know what to do instantly because this could be a hawk. Also, there could be um, you have been guided. Your ancestors is guided you, whomever you are, to do this. Whatever this is, to to speak to speak the truth here. But I feel like someone might be sneaky. Like I said, someone might be trying to, you know, create some type of. Don't be confused. They someone is trying to confuse you to hold back because you know they're gonna try to make you think you know otherwise. If the sun, you know, if the sun is. What you got? You got the cloud. You got the moon, right? It's confusion. It's illusion. But it is not true. It's just what it is. A confusion and illusion. Someone is because they want you to hold back. Do not do it because someone might be getting you. Try to get you on your head here. Because someone doesn't want you to find some type of information. Or say some type. But you guys are divine masculine. You guys might just getting transformation. I feel like you guys might be like um enlightenment you just um awaken yeah i feel like the universe is gonna awaken you whomever you are to do something that's going to be changing the world okay that's what i'm getting here let's see let's go for judgment this is a good reading this is good nine of pentacles sideways nine of pentacles sideways so whatever this is for you guys i felt like you know it's it's okay things is it's gonna be it's gonna go just the way it's supposed to be that's what i'm going to say try to put it in a positive way we have everything's fine still ten of ones ten of ten of ones ten and everything fine i feel like things is going to be okay these two cards keep stay right here. So let's clarify Queen of Wands. And after that, I'm close the reading out. Let's clarify the Queen of Wands, please. Queen of Swords. So, okay. So the only Queens we miss is the Queen of Cups. But we also have the Empress here. We also have the impress. So whomever this is, like I said, this is someone that is all around beautiful inside and out. We have Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. This is someone that is awakened, enlightened. You know, maybe the Queen of Cups might be coming out if I do this. So this is someone that is in impress mode. That is in press mode that, you know, destiny. This is, you know. You can't go any better because all the three energies here is upright. Queen of Swords upright, Queen of Pentacles upright, Queen of Wands upright. So I'm definitely getting an energy here, whatever this is for you guys. Um, and we're talking about energies, okay? So don't take it offense, okay? Oh my gosh, she's talking about me. Oh my gosh, she's saying something about me because Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords could be, you know, someone that is a musician, someone that sings, someone that is a tarot reader, someone that is, you know, um, that is a, a lawyer, that is a physical therapist. Um, there's a lot of things when it's come to the Queen of Swords. She do it all. So if you're no one, the Queen of Swords um is upright she do it all she do it all and she's expected to get to get to the truth she could be a cop she could be you know whatever she could be anything and everyone so don't don't be like oh my god she's talking about me but i'm getting beautiful positive image <laughs> positive energies from these readings okay positive energies from these readings positive the only things that 
there's some type of ending that is kind of wash wishy washy when it's come to the past here but this is someone that is beautiful inside that is confident this is with destiny card here this is a person that is very close to the divine very close to god okay with queen of wands queen of pentacles here and so i can tell you guys something real quick and matter of fact i'm not going to say it i'm just gonna say it. this whomever this energy is this queen of wands queen of pentacles queen of swords this is the same person that i'm getting the same energy this is someone that is close to god someone might have sagittarius Taurus, and gemini and their energies so i'm going to leave it right there okay instead of messing things up so we have also um four of wands ten of swords nine of pentacles eight of wands so again beautiful energies beautiful energy someone could have been hurry up washing in to um you know to create some type with the hangman here to create something here to make something you know feel whether it's metal conflicts or you know what is metal conflicts but i'm getting here this is a war awakened someone is awakened to a situation here when it's come to being stuck, when it's come to feel trapped here, someone is awakened. So some of you might be going to a painful ending, but not like how you have like, oh my God, the painful ending could be with the Ten of Swords could be like you guys is awakened. Awakening is not easy. Okay. With the Ten of Swords and then um with the ten of swords with the hangman here you guys might be awake and awakened like you're getting your behind whoop bye <laughs> by the divine because if you guys hasn't complete your cycle yet you are you got somebody is getting the behind whoop right now you know and it could be a lot of us that is you know are awakened and we have to get to where we need to be by the divine doing what they need here yeah we have ace of pentacles because whatever this is for you guys it's an awakening okay but i feel like once you once you finally get get over it you're gonna be fine let's see let me see like let me get see if we get an angel messages for you guys Oh, well then, okay. <laughs> Someone might be getting some type of abundance. So we have Don't Stop. We have Don't Stop. This is speaking online. This is, this is also judgment. But I felt like there's some type of communication in here. Someone like Don't Stop. Someone might be getting some type of abundance coming through. Whatever it is abundance, you know, whether it is financial, whether it is happiness, whether it is joy, whether it is marriage, relationship, good health, you know. But I'm getting here, someone is saying, don't stop. So whatever it is abundance for you guys, let me see. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> so there might be some type of, you know. But I felt like someone wants you guys to speak. Someone might be also calling you. Yeah, we have yes. Oh, what you need to know is a yes. You got a yes. Hold on. <laughs> okay, there you go. Ah, there you go. So you got a yes. I'm going to leave this. The angels say yes. They say abundance. And, you know, like I say, you might be getting some call. So if God calling you. If God calling you, answer that phone, okay? However, the God's supposed to calling you, answer the call, okay, for some of you. But whatever you're getting, whatever the message you are getting, answer the phone. You are on your path. You are in the right path. So I'm going to say, guys, I love, love, love you guys, okay? I hope you guys enjoy these readings. And yes, it's not going to be loud, but I love you guys.
Bye.